when I started today, I was talking <clears throat> to some of my friends. Bring it up close to your mouth. There you go. And one of the things I had said was last week when I said that I was going to stand up and speak, it seemed like a really good idea. Today arrived and the nerves were up and it didn't seem like really that great of an idea. Having listened to everybody who came before me, it is a good idea. Because <clears throat> this is what we need to do. We need to get out and be visible. <clears throat> I am here today to be counted. I'm an honorably discharged from the Marine Corps and a Desert Air veteran. When I enlisted, I took the same oath all the service women and men take in the U.S. Armed Forces. And that is to defend this country from all enemies, both foreign and domestic. Yes. No, nope, I just find where I am. <laughs> that was a pretty good place to pause. Woo! Yeah, Nikki! Okay. So I ask you, where are the protections for the trans community? <clears throat> From our enemies, who reside right here among us. Why are public accommodations not afforded to the trans community. Every time I go out, I have my children with me. Guys, raise your hands. <clears throat> These are three of my five children that are out to their first trans rally event. Woo! Yeah, welcome! Every time I go out in public with my children, I have no defense should I be singled out and told to vacate the premises. Not asked to leave because I was stealing or causing a ruckus. But because of being who I am. Who I've always been. There's a lot of push in these days to end bullying. We just had spirit day yesterday to stop putting an end to bullying. But yet, is it right for my children to have to witness their parent being bullied in a public setting? Why is it okay for people not to bully them, but it's okay for other segments of society to be bullied? <clears throat> Being African-American is not a choice. Being gay is not a choice. And being trans is not a choice. Amen. <clears throat> Who would volunteer to be persecuted? <clears throat> I didn't take two hours to get ready today versus the 15 minutes it used to take me because this is a passing phase. Our civil rights should be afforded to everybody, not just those that label themselves mainstream society. <clears throat> I'm not asking for society to agree with who I am, but I am demanding that they respect me. <clears throat> During the American Revolution, one of the battle cries was no taxation without representation. Well, I pay my taxes, so my next question is, where's my representation? I think it's time for another American Revolution fought right here in the Bay State. A revolution for equal rights for all. Yeah! Woo! They're Way called go, rights Senator for a reason. They're intended for everybody. My children don't love and accept me because I'm trans. They love and accept me because of who I am.
I am taking over this event for next year. I am looking for people to step up, join the steering committee, and come out. Um, if there's any questions, I'm on Facebook. You can talk to me afterwards. And with that, I bid you adieu.